day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to talk about Side Angle Inequality Theorem and Angle Side Inequality Theorem. Alright! Okay, let's talk about Side Angle Inequality Theorem. So in a triangle, if one side is longer than the other side, then the angle opposite the longer side is the larger angle. So based on our example, okay, so let's look at our example. So our longest side is RW with a measurement of 25 centimeters. So the angle opposite our longer side is the larger angle. In this case, 90 degrees is our larger angle. Now, let's talk about the angle side inequality theorem. So in a triangle, if one angle is larger than the other angle, then the side opposite the larger angle is the longer side. Now let's have some examples in applying side angle and angle side inequality theorem. Alright, okay, let's have our first example. So for example, we're given this triangle and let's identify which side is the longest. So given the angles in this triangle, let's identify the larger angle. So our larger angle or the largest angle is 85 degrees. That is angle R. So according to angle side inequality theorem, the side opposite our larger angle will be the longer side. So in this case, side AC will be the longest side. Alright, next is let's identify which side is the shortest. So to identify the shortest side, we have to identify first the smallest angle. So according to our triangle, the smallest angle is angle A with 25 degrees. Using the angle side inequality theorem, we can say that the opposite side of our smallest angle will be the shortest side. So our shortest side will be side RC. Alright, okay. Let's have another example. So for example, we're given this triangle and we are going to look for the longest side. So in order for us to find the longest side, we have to identify the largest angle. So in this triangle, which angle is the largest? So that is going to be angle B. So angle B will have the largest angle with 71 degrees. And using angle side inequality theorem, the side opposite the largest angle will be the longest side. Alright. So our longest side will be side EN. Alright. Now let's find the shortest side in this triangle. So to find the shortest side, we have to identify the smallest angle. So our smallest angle is angle N with 47 degrees. So using side angle inequality theorem, we can say that the side opposite the smallest angle is the shortest side. So our shortest side will be side BE. Alright, so let's have another example. So for example, we're given this triangle and we're going to look for the longest side. So what will be the longest side? So in order for us to solve for the longest side, we have to identify the largest angle. Our largest angle is angle A with 90 degrees. Okay, so using angle side inequality theorem, the side opposite our largest angle will be the longest side. So our longest side will be side MT. All right. Now, let's look for the side that is the shortest. So, what is our shortest side? So, to get our shortest side, we have to identify our smallest angle. And our smallest angle in this triangle is angle M with 38 degrees. So, the side opposite the smallest angle will be the shortest side. So, that will be side AT. All right. Okay, let's have another example. So for example, we're given this triangle and then we're going to get the largest angle. So in this triangle, we're given the dimension of each side. So to get the largest angle or to identify the largest angle, we have to determine the longest side. So the longest side is side PE with 57. Using side angle inequality theorem, we can say that the angle opposite the longest side is the largest 
angle. So our largest angle will be angle I. Okay, now let's look for the smallest angle. Now in identifying the smallest angle, we have to determine our shortest side. So our shortest side here is side IE. And using side angle inequality theorem, the angle opposite the shortest side is the smallest angle. So our smallest angle will be angle P. Alright. Okay, let's have our last example for today. So for example, we have this triangle and we're looking for the largest angle. So in this triangle, we're given the measurement of each side. And so to determine our largest angle, we have to identify our longest side. So our longest side here is side LE with 24. Using side angle inequality theorem, we can say that the angle opposite the longest side will be the largest angle. So in this case, our largest angle will be angle O. Alright. Now, let's proceed to identifying the smallest angle. And so to determine which angle is the smallest, we have to identify first the shortest side. So our shortest side here will be side LO with 17. Using side angle inequality theorem, we can say that the angle opposite the shortest side is the smallest angle. So in this case, our smallest angle will be angle E. Alright. Now that you already know how to use side angle inequality theorem and angle side inequality theorem, it is your turn to try it. Please click the link in our description box below in order for you to test your skills. That's it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace!